What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reaction video of the investigation that I did with Twin Paranormal at the Malvern Manor. Since you guys have left, right? It has gotten so much more. Shadow Man, Shadow Man, Shadow Man. Oh, I've been waiting. Oh, dude. oh my god. Dude. Say no. Oh, wait. Is that better? Bro. A team of paranormal investigators came in and tried answering some of the questions and concerns. <laughs> Everything revolves around door seven. So guys, this was my first paranormal investigation that I've ever done. And honestly, it was pretty life changing. I've dabbled a little bit in paranormal investigating, ghost hunting, whatever you want to call it. But nothing like this investigation guys this was eye-opening to say the absolute least the amount of call and response activity that happened was just mind-blowing and experiencing all of this firsthand in person was just crazy to me so we're gonna go over the footage we'll talk about some things that happened and some things that you guys noticed that happened in the video that we didn't even realize if you have not seen this video yet i would definitely recommend going to watch that video before this one the link is down in the description if you wanna go check that out. So let's jump into it. This part was particularly interesting to me because this was the first name that we got through Necrometer. The name was Emma and the REM pod went off at the same time. At the end, we also got Emily, right? Emma could definitely be short for Emily, for sure. When we got Emily toward the end of the investigation, Wyatt and I were both like, that sounds so familiar. And I said, did we get Emily in the beginning? The Necrometer says, at the start. It almost seemed like it was saying, at the beginning, I gave you my name. So it's like, is Emma and Emily the same person? So that kind of aligned, which was really interesting to me. That was a thumb. Where are you? Was that the door? Was no. that his door? That's um, pretty loud. Oh, shut the f up, dude. Emma. Emma. That was weird. That almost sounded like a, a Dude, step right my there. My arms. Chill. Yeah, so that's so interesting to me. So maybe there's someone at the Malvern Manor named Emma or Emily, and they were trying to talk to us. It definitely seems like there were multiple spirits there that night talking to us, without a doubt. At this point in the video, we're downstairs at the Malvern Manor, and the way that the hallways are set up down there, there's like a main hallway that goes horizontal, right? And then there's another one that leads vertically this way. They come to like a three-way together, right? So at one end of the hallway, there's said to be a shadow man that stands at that end of the hallway. It's said that he comes at you so fast that it's like a millisecond and he can just go the distance of the hallway like that. At the other end of the hallway, there's a spirit known as Rebecca who was a woman who was left there by her husband back whenever the Malvern Manor was like a psychiatric ward. She had gone through abuse from maybe her husband, staff that worked there, a lot of different traumatic events. That area is known to be haunted by Rebecca. At this point, we start getting a lot of words coming out of the necrometer. Evil, you will go, stuff like that, that it seems kind of negative, like it doesn't want us there or it wants to mess with us. And of course, our first thought is this is probably the shadow man trying to mess with us, right? Bed. 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 Number one's over there. They said, I'm not free. Mm -hmm. What if they were one of the patients and they're strapped to the bed? He's here. He's here. Who? Who? The tall shadow man? What would help boost your energy so that you can show us that you are here? Give us a sign, please. That's insane. See, we had cameras set up all over the house, guys, but obviously that room with the bed that has the candle on it, we can't see that until the editing process. And I didn't see this until the video was already up. So it's mind blowing. Like it almost looked like you could see like the candle turned on, right? The music box goes off. It says, look down, the candle is on. And it almost looks like in the background, there's like some sort of light or orb or something weird going on. And the candle turns off as it passes. Like, what? And it also said bed, which was where the candle was sitting. Like, that just seems like too much of a coincidence. It's pretty crazy, dude. Yeah, that's... <gasps> yes! No way! Oh, f That's crazy. Right outside of door seven. Is this you, Rebecca? Dude, I just went completely deaf in this ear. And I just got ringing. Did you just hear a scream? That I was did. a scream, huh? 
Flashlight. Whoa! Did you just... And that just got tapped. Maybe they want that flashlight off. Oh, it just got yeah. worse. It just got worse. Things are really ramp up right here. Is that better? <gasps> Whoa! No way, bro! Whoa, dude! Oh my god, dude! Walk down. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> again. Dude, everything revolves around door seven. This bro. is right outside of door seven. I am a This is where things really started to ramp up. And this was my personal favorite part of the investigation. This was insane. The call and response, everything, the activity just got crazy right here. I am, again, my body is just in shock. As soon as you turn that flashlight off. Like seconds after. Yes. <laughs> as soon as I turned the flashlight off, it, it literally said flashlight. So I was like, okay, I'll turn it off. As soon as I turn it off, everything goes crazy. Thank you. Rebecca, is that you or is this somebody else? We want you. Whoa! Say no. Say no! No way, dude. Oh my. At this point is where we kind of start to realize that maybe there's two or more entities down there speaking to us. We believe one of them was the shadow man, the other one was Rebecca. And it starts to seem like the shadow man is trying to pull us one way and Rebecca is trying to pull us the other way to keep us from the shadow man and warn us and keep us safe. So shout out Rebecca, dude. Rebecca, you're a real one. What is that? I think I keep hearing these bells on the door. It sounds like jingling, but it's so faint. Do you guys feel the actual like palpable anxiety that is in Oh yeah, the I right keep now? touching my chest. I'm like, <laughs> oh, So guys, the bells on the door is definitely foreshadowing for what happens next. When we were doing the walkthrough, the owner of the Malvern Manor, Josh, was telling us that that door has been known to open itself. He has seen it open itself right in front of his eyes while he was across the hall. I imagine those bells are there for the sake of knowing if the door opens and um, it did. <laughs> When we started the investigation down here, River closed the door and put the rim pod in front of it. So you can see the door is obviously closed, right? So later on it, it opens, which is pretty crazy. I say my chest is tight. <laughs> no oh, way, dude. Did you just- Sound. Sound. Okay. Does it hurt to die? What? what? Again? We don't know. I'm gonna tell you this, if you can hear me and you think I'm a spirit. Oh my God, dude, it gives me chills watching the video because at this point, look, right there, the door is open. The door was just closed, but it, I think it opened slow enough and it was so dark, like we didn't hear it or see it. And guys, when we were filming, we filmed in absolute pitch black darkness. So you really couldn't see anything other than like, you know, when I had the flashlight on, but. I turned the flashlight off. You guys can see because of the night vision, but we really can't see much. So we're standing right beside that door as it opens and we had no idea. Which honestly gives me chills to think about to be standing five foot from a door and it opens and you don't even know. That is so creepy. We can't see you. I have moved something. What? Is that what I heard? I have moved I something. Know. Maybe. The door. This is the point where we finally notice the door is wide open. You okay? What's up? Oh! Wait! Why door is that door open? open? Shut the f Did you? Dude, that was a free grab. I didn't too. do it. You didn't, didn't open do the that? door? No! Why the f did you wait, do wait, that? Wait, 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 wait. Stop! That door's all the way open now. Wait. You shut it earlier. Yes, I shut it. Wait, that we was. We have open. it on camera. That was open a few minutes ago uh, when we were wait, all here. On camera? What do you mean on camera? I have it, it on closed. camera it that it's, it's closed. Does it hurt to die? What? Again? Again? We don't know. Slow mo, slow mo. Ryan, remember how you said you felt like a spider webs on you? Yes. When I was in there, I just had that like down my whole arm. This door was closed. We were all five to 10 feet away from that door. How did that open? It was completely closed. Ah, <sighs> guys, wild. This is the point in the investigation where things really started to get crazy. It was mind blowing. 
the activity that we started to give. We decided to take the bell from outside of the room and put it in the room with the door closed to see if we could get any activity with the bell in the room while nobody is in there. Rebecca, this bell is gonna let us know that you are here. We're gonna go ahead and close the door. Can you open it please? Let us know that you're in here. We're not gonna hurt you. What happened to you was horrible and we're so sorry. Dude, my heart's pounding. I have gnarly butterflies, dude. That scared the f out of me. I'm getting the fear farts, boys. <laughs> the fear farts! Can you open that door for us? Come here! Come here! Rebecca, if that is you, if you can touch that bell for us in your room, we would love to come in there and have a conversation with you. If you'd like for us to do that, could you touch that bell? <gasps> No way, dude. That was like call and response. That was Insane. right after I just said that. Holy shit. You were so close. You were you so were close. Insane. What if it's not Rebecca? Guys, immediately, immediately it goes off. How does that bell go off in the room by itself, guys? What? To me, that was like the craziest part. That was wild to me, that a bell was going off in a room by itself behind a door that something just opened. How do you explain that? Oh, holy Guys, that was a loud ass house yeah. over here. Hello? Won't make it. Won't make it. Who are you talking to? Us? That's scary, dude. It said at the end. Won't make it. He remembers you. Oh, dude. No oh. way. The shadow man? Dog. That's what it's been doing this. <gasps> oh. The bell. I Does like that I'm... mean she wants us to come in there? Dude, that's what it's been doing this whole time. It said you will go, won't make it, and a few other things, like taunting us that we won't last this time. We won't run. We want to speak with the shadow man. Are you down the hall? You know what I think we should do? I think we should all hold hands right now, close our eyes, and we should say shadow man three times. I knew you were going to... See, 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 told you. It wants it. Yep, they want it. I'm just saying. We can't see you. Yeah, so River had the idea that we would all hold hands and kind of conjure the shadow man, right? We held hands, said his name three times. It definitely seemed to work. To the shadow man, we are giving you energy to show yourself. One, two, three. Shadow, shadow man, man, shadow man, shadow man. Oh! No. I, guys, I don't think Rebecca's in there. Yeah, nope. I don't think so. Notice it's been trying to lure us into that room a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we just go in there? Let's do it. Are you not Rebecca? Oh my god. Are you the shadow man? Dude, when I put it in there, man, it's just been going a lot crazier. We're coming in. Is there a reason you want us in here? Wife. Why? Wife. Wife. It was going crazy the entire what time. What is it? We're in here now. Is there some information you'd like to give us? So now we're in Rebecca's room. Can you, can you... Music box. The music box started going crazy out in the hallway while we were in Rebecca's room. So this is why we felt like something, like maybe the shadow man, something evil was trying to lure us back out there while Rebecca was trying to bring us in her room, trying to keep us away. Every time we move somewhere, it does something else somewhere else. Keep going, please. Don't run. Don't run. Guys, guys, guys. Shadow man, shadow man. Where are you? Uh, right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Somebody's down the hallway. Somebody's there. Holy f That scared the f out of me. What if the shadow man is trying to pull us one way, so we're hearing stuff down here, but Rebecca keeps tapping the bell to keep us in here from going to the shadow man? Could be trying to protect us. Yeah. Is that true, Rebecca? Can you hit that twice for yes and once for no? Yes. Whoa. Yes. 
Yes. She just flat out answered. If it's yes, can you confirm with one ring on the bell, please? That was wild. Flat if that is answer. her, she just answered it straight out? Yeah. She's trying to keep us from the shadow man. She's trying to protect us. So is the shadow man here then? Does it hurt to die? Don't run. Don't run. What the f is up with that? Who's saying that? They're here. I want to make my way upstairs because I want to find out more information about that blood. The last time we were here, we got a lot of information. Mm -hmm. And now we have new information to work with. Whoever's down here, if you would like us to come back down, we are going to make our way to the second floor. Help you. Maybe you can let us know through the device to come back down here. You just asked. Help you. you... That was a loud bang. Said you are in trouble. Oh, oh, dude. Rebecca was just telling us straight up, dude. She was letting us know something negative is in that place and we are in trouble. Think about the lineup. Help you. Said you are in trouble. Yeah. That's what she's trying to tell us. Oh, I just got full body oh. chilling. Absolutely unreal, dude. So we decided to make our way upstairs and Rebecca continues to try to warn us that it's not safe. We are on the second floor. Nine months ago, there was an entity trying to make us go up into the attic. Well, I've come prepared. <laughs> oh, great. And I'm not scared anymore. Is there anybody up here? You want a piece of this? There were a lot of people that were asking me questions about the sword and where Ryan got the sword. The day before the investigation, we all went to a Renaissance festival. Ryan and River both got sword. We got cloaks. Wyatt got a dagger. It was fun, dude. If you've never been to a Renaissance fair, dude, you gotta do it. It's like living in Game of Thrones or like Lord of the Rings or something. It's so sick. But that's where the sword came from. Usually people tell us come protected. That is true. That's why I have a condom on right now. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point we started hearing all kinds of taps and footsteps that kind of just led us down the hallway this hallway is so creepy dude based on the history someone was murdered there there's blood splattered all over the walls down both sides of the walls if you go into the bedroom at the end of the hall there is a closet that has bloody handprints on the inside of the door and we believe that there were multiple people that we were talking to upstairs that were either the victim, the murderer, or maybe even some other people as well. Oh god, dude, this is f***ing scary as Dude, it's so dark, you can't see anything. Yes, you will! What? Wait, I said you can't see anything and it said yes, you will. As if we're gonna see it. That's so creepy. <laughs> that is so... Freaking creepy, dude. I mean, to be walking down the hallways where someone was murdered and it's pitch black, you can't see anything, and you're like, oh, it's so dark, I can't see anything. And immediately, the device goes, yes, you will. Like, bruh. If there's somebody up here, can you give us a name? Please? What the f***? You hear that? It's happening. Closet. <gasps> no. Guys, no way, dude. The, oh, right on the other side of this yeah. is the closet. The closet. The closet. Had the handprints with blood on it. That's where we had all that activity before, too. You were so close. Oh. You were so close. Oh, what is that? The red blood. What are we close to? Finding out what's actually here? Emily. What? Emily. Emily. Why is that ringing a bell? That sounds so familiar, right? Who's Emily? At the start. At the start? Did we get Emily at the start of the investigation? Maybe we did. Oh. Joel. That's. Pass. Pass. Oh. There you go. That's what I was talking about earlier, where we got Emma at the start of the investigation and then Emily later. And then it kind of confirmed at the start of the investigation, we got Emma, which could be short for Emily. It was probably the same spirit. Hi, who is this? Emily? Can you touch that again? Sit down. 
Sit down. Oh, oh dude, you just got sitting. you got told. All right, sure. Not thing, just that. I brother. just sat down. I was the only one not sitting down. I was still standing, and it literally goes, "Sit down." <laughs> I got you. No problem. Attic. Oh, attic. 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 No way. I'm not friendly. Oh, I'm dude. Friendly, dude. Is this the entity that we asked to come down from the attic? So if you don't know the history, the twin paranormal guys have been to this location before. There is known to be a dark entity in the attic. We planned to originally go up to the attic while we were doing a walkthrough and the owner Josh was telling us about the activity lately and how it's been. He warned us that for our safety, we probably should not go up in the attic because it has been so insane lately. Bullets. Bullet. Bullet again. Yeah. Is that your blood that's in the closet? Tell us. Oh. Oh. Sh that's a full grab. Tell us your name. What happened to you? We just want to talk. Does that mean it's their blood also in the hallway? Oh. Whoa. That kind of makes sense because. If you follow the trail. And later in the investigation, we start getting it's on the walls, the walls, over and over again, multiple times. So that's pretty crazy. It's like it was trying to tell us the inside of the closet door, the walls. We'll give you our energy. The walls. The walls. The walls. What about the walls? They're like, that's all my blood. Please give us more information. We're trying to find out what happened here. Was there a murder? Can you answer that? If you need any energy, you can use all of the things the that we brought. The walls again! What about the walls? But make a loud noise or set that off so we know for sure. It's on the walls. It's on, on the walls. walls. The walls. Two different devices. What Dude, the sh Two what different the devices. The Dude, they're talking about They're talking, they're talking about the walls it's on the walls that's scary bro. that's, that's freaky that's like a riddle because we just asked them what happened were they murdered and they said the walls the walls it's on the walls throughout the night there were so many call and response answers in so many different ways that just flat out gave us the information that we were looking for like what else could that have possibly meant it's definitely talking about the blood that was literally all over the walls, all the way down the hallway. So at this point, we started to hear a lot of tapping and scraping on the walls. The REM pod starts going off and it seems like something dark, like maybe the dark entity from the attic was trying to mess with us and get our attention. Who is that entity? If everyone's warning us about you, why don't you come down here and show yourself? Oh, shit. dude, this is actually Crazy. That's a very quick response. Yeah, that was. Will you speak to us? Do you have good intentions or bad intentions? I'm protected, man. I doused this thing in canola oil. <laughs> Is the entity around the corner? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes! yes! Oh, God. And somebody's trying to warn us, right? This is the entity from the attic, huh? You're here? How did you get here? Oh. So we started to make our way down the hall and it seemed like something kind of started targeting Ryan specifically. Something grabbed Ryan's leg. And not long after, the device says Ryan. And while we were in this hallway, we all kind of agreed that it felt so heavy, like the energy. Our chests were really heavy, like it was hard to breathe. It just felt very uncomfortable. Dude, that just got me chills. We were told to leave, and we're trying to find this Whoa, something's touching my leg. Something's touching my leg. Find the truth. Find the truth. Find, dude, holy mother Whoa, that is, dude. Hold this Holy There's nothing in my pocket. There's, no, there's nothing. Nothing resting on my leg or anything. What the As I'm walking this way, it feels like somebody's like doing this. So weird. This is really terrifying. Dude, my chest is so heavy. What's trapping us? Ryan. Oh! oh! Whoa! No way, dude. Right after it just grabbed his leg. What are the chances 
what are the odds that something grabs Ryan's leg and then a couple minutes later, the device says Ryan? I don't know, can anybody explain that? So this is the part of the investigation where we decided to do some EVPs. What was so mind blowing about this part of the investigation is something was messing with the EVP recorder that would not let us ask any questions to try to get answers to solve this case. Every time we would hit record and start asking questions, something there was turning the recorder off and would not let us ask our questions. Okay. This is EVP number one. We're trying to get a hold of the victim, the one whose blood is all over the walls. Who did that to you? What is the name of the man that remembers us? Where were you when you were first attacked? Did you touch my brother's leg in the hallway? Okay. You guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. That was great. Go away. Go away. What the f It didn't record any of our f questions. Are you Instead, serious? they turn it off and they say go away right away. Listen. We gotta ask the same questions now. Let's try it again. Okay, let's try this again. That's f crazy. That is weird. This one's to the victim. Speak loud and clear, please. We are trying to find out information. Who hurt you? What is the name of the man that remembers us? Where were you when you first got attacked? Did you touch my brother's leg in the hallway? That's movement. That was crazy. That was like... Yeah. It almost sounded like someone walking with a limp. Oh, oh it did. Like stumbling almost. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Dude. Okay, let's listen to this. What? Nothing. Again. Again. Nothing. It's not good, dude. Our voices didn't get recorded. Huh? Stop it, dude. It just completely cut it off. It I watched the light blinking. It was blinking the whole time. Yeah. And guys, keep in mind, this never happens. Something was messing with the device and manipulating it and cutting it off. I got an idea. Press it, don't say anything. Okay. The light was going the whole time. The whole f time. See it in the camera. Here we go. Huh? What? Now Damn. it f works? Dude, that's so There's weird. something wrong. Run! Oh, oh! Is that what that says? Play that again. <gasps> There's something wrong. Run. That is run. That does say run. Guys, let me tell you, when you have this EVP recorder right up next to your ear, it is so much more clear and easy to hear than it is through like the camera. It was so clear. The fact that it picked that up and we're sitting there not saying a single word and that's the only time that it worked right is mind blowing to me.
That is crazy. So guys, we tried this a couple more times and it was the same result every time we tried to ask anything. It would immediately shut the device off and not even let us ask a question to even try to find any answers to what happened in the Malvern Manor. So we decided it would be a good idea to go to a different location and try to see if the EVP recorder would work in another location. And this is what happened. Last uh, resort, yeah? Pretty much. Okay, what I can do is just set it, right? Set it down? Yeah. Here we go. Was there something controlling this device and making it to where we couldn't speak through it? Did you see the light? It blinked the whole time? No way. Off, dude. What the f Ooh, that is f crazy. And it didn't say a f word. Yeah, but right at the top of the stairs, nothing, bro. Cut it off every time. Something up there made it to where we couldn't communicate with anybody that we're looking for. What if the murderer, the one who did that to whoever, oh my God. is up there controlling What if they are the one in the attic? Remember in the device it said, find the truth. And the attic. Dude, that is weird. And what's so crazy, guys, is it would not let us ask anything at the top of the stairs. We go to the bottom of the stairs, the device works perfectly fine, completely normal. That confirmed to us the device was not the problem. There was something controlling that device and not letting us ask questions at the top of those stairs. Okay, here's my thought. We are running out of time here. Yeah. I think for a last resort to try to get any answers at all, we should go and stand right next to the attic. Okay. Maybe we, we can get, get something. something. Dude, this is wild. Tonight has been insane. I'm so we decided to make our way back upstairs. We stood outside of the attic rather than going up there since Josh warned us ahead of time that it was probably not the best idea for us to go up there for our safety. We stood outside of the attic and this is where we felt like we finally started to get some answers about what dark entity could be upstairs in the Malvern Manor. Are we in a bad area? I'm not even kidding, we just got over here. Oh, dude, I feel weird. This spot feels so, so negative. Yeah, heavy. Like, a feeling in my chest that is just not good. I was left here. Oh. Who? Talk to us, please. This negative entity? Are you here? The victim, are you here? Evidence. Evidence! Evidence, dude. Oh, crazy. The EVPs. Exactly. Oh, I was just saying, what if that was the only way? Should we try one last EVP right here to see what happens? Right outside of the attic. Vincent. Yeah. Wait. Is that his name? Vincent? That's the second time we've got that. Is that his name? Vincent? Is that the one who hurt you? So we started getting the name Vincent. We think that was who murdered the person in the Malvern Manor. Be scared of me. Oh, you f Stop it, That's dude. Name. What the f is happening? That's your name, isn't it? Where are you, Vincent? Guys, this was the craziest thing to me because this is something that you guys pointed out that I don't think any of us noticed. I definitely never noticed it until you guys pointed it out, even after I watched the video. But if you watch when Wyatt says, where are you, Vincent? Under the camera tripod, there's like a black mist or a shadow that clearly moves through the tripod. That's your name, isn't it? Where are you, Vincent? Crazy. Vincent, did you murder someone here? Who? Attic. It's happening in the attic, yo. This is f Let's just wait down for a second. What the f What stopped? Dude. What? Guys, 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 Look at the end word. <gasps> what? It what? says... It's... No, it doesn't. It, it says... It does.
in, bro. It says kill. It literally does. Oh Wait, my god. Wait, what the f dude. Wait. Dude, that is actually f crazy. Look at that. It says kill. So the device completely malfunctioned and just spit out all kinds of gibberish which it's not supposed to do. It's not designed to do that. And at the very end, the last thing it said is kill. That's weird. Josh even warned us not to go up. He said, don't go up. Yeah. He's like, for your safety, just don't. Don't do it. Are you waiting for something? You can't harm us. I'm getting so much anxiety. I don't, I don't feel good. I don't feel, um, I don't feel. Oh, dude, shut no the way. You oh, no that? way. As soon as you Dude, put it around the corner, You bro. want to know how weird this is? Normally, when our IR lights die, they blink, right? Oh, oh, it's bad, Dude, the moment I looked around the corner, it, it sh shut off. Just like the EVPs. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, dude. Whoever is up there is not good. As soon as River put his camera around the corner to look up the stairs for the attic, it turns off the light. That is insane. Something in there was powerful enough to be able to manipulate devices like the light on the camera or the EVP recorder and things like that. We kept trying to get some information and it seemed like things kind of calmed down. We didn't really get much more. We spent hours and hours there trying to get as much info and get to the bottom of this case as we possibly could. So we decided it was time to leave for the night. We came here, we did our best. Got some information, something here is completely blocking us out from gathering any of that information, you know? It does, yeah, it does seem and feel like that. It's 100%. I just, I have this weird feeling, dude, that the one that's up in the attic was the one who did that to, uh, I don't know if it's a woman who got killed or a man. Like, I, I would love to come back again. That's mm -hmm. the problem. Just come back until we completely solve it. I do not get it. That is insane. But right now, we're, we're out of time. If you guys did enjoy this episode and you would like us to make another return for the third time, get this video to 50,000 likes and uh, yeah, we'll definitely make a return. Maybe we'll do an overnight. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> now it's gonna hit 50,000 likes. Holy f that'd be crazy. Stay here. Uh, we've never done an overnight, so we'd have to like get extra batteries, SD cards, We'd have to make sure we're like ready. The whole nine. Also guys, please give Milrose some love. His- oh. You know, I didn't realize this until after when Ryan said, go give Milrose some love. He was about to say to follow me. And the ghost was like, follow right on cue. How weird is that? Also, let us know down in the comments if you would like us to bring him with us again on another investigation. I think this one was a pretty good one. Intense. Yeah, for your first for my investigation. First one, dude, this was intense, man. Okay, because I mean, I know you. Yeah, guys, so for my first real investigation, this was intense. There was so much activity. And although I was already a believer going into this, this just elevated that belief so much higher than I ever imagined. And hearing so many different noises, like the footsteps, the knocks, the bell going off, the music box, the REM pod, the crazy activity, all of the very clear answers that we got regarding the things that happened there is just mind blowing to another level. I mean, at the beginning, when we were going through and Josh was telling us about the place, about the location and things that are happening lately, we were outside of door two and he was talking about the shadow man and we heard a growl. Literally, he goes, yeah, the shadow man shows himself here and it goes, <clears throat> like behind door two. And it shows that at the beginning of the video, but I can't even tell you how loud it actually was in person. It was insane. It was loud enough for us to all hear it and be like, what was that? There were a lot of weird things that happened and I'm definitely a believer after doing this investigation with these guys. So I just wanna give a huge thank you and a huge shout out to my boys in Twin Paranormal. Thank you guys so much for having me along. It was an amazing time. I would love to do it again in the future. If you guys would like to see me come along with them on another investigation in the future, make sure you drop a comment on this video as well as their video and let them know that you guys would like to see me come along again. I would love to, it was a great time. Ryan did say, if that video gets to 50,000 likes, they'll come back and do an overnight there. I did see a comment on the video that said to come back and for me to stay in the attic by myself. 
So I would be down to go up there and spend some time by myself and see what happens. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you guys would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you for checking out the original video of the investigation as well. If you have not already done it, make sure you drop a like on this video, comment, let me know what you thought about this investigation and make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you always get notified whenever I post. If you guys would like to go subscribe to the Boys and Twin Paranormal, I will leave their link down in the description. They always put out new content every Sunday, amazing investigations. Definitely go check them out if you haven't already. Again, thank you guys so much for being here. It means the world. I love you all so much, and I will see you next time. It over, it over.